This time we're going to be looking at the layers view inside of Cura. In an earlier video where we looked at setting up your model for 3D printing, I mentioned this was a very important part of the process. And in fact, I consider this an essential part of the process to make sure that your 3D print can be as successful as, as possible. Uh, most of the time in Cura, you're going to be looking at the model in what's called solid view, which is what's on the screen here. I know it's solid view because up in this menu in the top part of the screen, it actually tells me I'm currently looking at the solid view. If I click on solid view, it actually gives me two other options. Though. It gives me x-ray view. And what we're interested in in this particular video is the layer view. When I click on the layer view, it's now going to give me a layer by layer representation of what that 3D print's going to be like as it's produced on the printer. So I can use this button here to actually ride up and down the model and look at each individual layer. If there's a specific layer number I want to look at, I can actually type that in and it will take me to, in this case, layer 500. I can also see how many total layers there are in this print, which is 1012. Now at the moment what we're looking at is the colour scheme being material colour. So this is showing every line as the same colour. A useful thing to click onto is where it says line type and then that changes the appearance somewhat. What we're now looking at is different colours for different parts of the 3D printing process. So the red lines that are running around the very outside of the model represent what's called the shell or the outer surface. The green lines that are running inside of that are what are called the inner wall. So these can be a number of shell thicknesses. So, so these, in this case, there's a three uh, additional lines being created. So we're on a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. So this is going to have a total wall thickness of 1.6 millimeters, which is one shell thickness and then three additional shells inside of that. So you can see how many shells are set on here. You can see the um, yellow area is what's called infill. So you can see this gridded structure inside of the model, which is giving the model some internal strength. That's shown in yellow. Um, there's also a couple of other options that you can uh, see on this. In this case, we don't have any support. But if we got support structure, that would show in blue. And I've got show travels turned off. But if I turn show travels on, it actually shows you every particular travel of the head, um, although that makes the actual view quite messy in some cases. So having show travels clicked off might be the best option. So looking through this, you can actually see every part of the 3D print. You'll see exactly what the 3D printer is going to create in terms of the very outer surface, the inner wall thickness, the internal structure, any support, and if you want to any additional travels that the printer is going to do. And this is really useful because you can actually now look through the model and understand whether it's actually going to print out exactly what you want, which is the important part of looking through the layers view. It's your only real chance to check exactly what the 3D printer is going to produce before you send it for 3D printing.